Symphony Number no. Two in C Minor. We found ourselves separated one night when that serrated knife, the wrong knife, sawed at the flesh that used to connect us. Hip to hip, your left would guide me right home. That knife, saw-toothed and feral, took two years to cut through. It should have been an axe, a guillotine, or better yet, a surgeon's blade, sharp and to the point. We could have done better had we lost a little less blood. When they stitched us up, they used the strings from inside our rosewood instrument. That nicotine antique we discovered in the attic of your grandmother's house under dust and dark and floral sheets. It took us one day to carry down, two days to tune, though. Now when we play, the white keys don't. We stripped them of their vocal cords in hopes for a quicker recovery and left the black keys untouched. Now all we hear are sharp memories of middle C, the fourth C, the note whose invisible string acted as umbilical cord and fed us forward into movements and sonatas. It's in this middle place that we were conceived, where our ancestors echoed raw on the black backs of caves. Can you hear it? This is where galaxies first formed, where history carved itself into stone walls with fire and sound. Can you picture the reaver? Oh yes, when we found them, our first relatives, their very bones told stories, moaning, naked, dirty, and pure, of bodies rolling violent amidst root inversions, minor chords, crescendos, and flat bees. Back then we spoke an ivory language, and when we read, we read with slow breaths between measures. We held on to notes a little longer than, than the page suggested. Oh, this is the middle place where we met. Do you remember? Under the dim light of a 16-candle Baroque chandelier, the heavy carpet, the red texture of the walls. Do you remember how the heat beat against our chests like the chimes of a grandmother clock, thick and unyielding? The time, you asked, and tapped your wrist. Do you have it? Oh, we were so impatient. I've been waiting for months, and then, con fuco, con margo, ben mesto assai, it was a symphony in four seasons, a tonal palette of rich orchestral colors. Oh, a single flute disrupting the wind. Do you remember what it was like to forget to breathe? When they stitched us up, only one was sewn with a string that held us taut and center. We knew because when we healed, we healed differently. I remember watching the pink flesh of your hips swell, break through sutures like tufts of cotton coming out of well-used and then forgotten teddy bears. It was my side, however, that became infected. Standing naked in front of the mirror, I discovered a topographical replica of the African continent, tied indigo and sage. When we found ourselves separated, we found ourselves in bed and in between us, a blood stain in the semblance of a Rorschach ink blot. It was as large as a pianola in repose and possessed a peculiar appeal for its near perfect bilateral symmetry. We sat up, sat cross legged and faced each other, attempting to decipher the image like we deciphered sheet music, measure by measure. Sometimes we'd stand up on the bed for a wider perspective. One time we switched positions. Roar's shock poured out like a hemophiliac, and we watched as a blocks metamorphosed from, metamorphosed from moth to lips to lungs. We leaked ink up to our necks and waited. We waited. And when the pool of blood became too deep for us to touch bottom, when the pictures on the mantelpiece became obscured by an interminable and viscous red, when our thoughts became too heavy to carry, we broke off pieces from the body of our instrument mm. and used the wood to stay afloat.